Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. I had someone ask me to go take a look at this project. And quite frankly, it's very suspect. But we're going to pretty much walk through if this, if Baby Doge is a scam. Because it has a huge following. Now, just so you know, the reason I'm not going to call this a flat out scam is I rescue dogs. I'm a big dog lover. My dog's right here by me. He goes everywhere. So if they are helping dogs, which to be honest, I can't prove. And I tried to find uh, documentation, not what they say, but documentation. Uh, I did find something that, you know, they said $750,000 went toward dog rescue. I can't verify that. That doesn't mean that they didn't do it. Uh, I'm just being full disclosure. Look, I'm non-biased. I'm here for you guys. If you're making money with this project, that's great. If you love it, that's great. I'm just here to walk you through the process because I take deep dives, guys. I go all the way where I can't find any more information. And I'm pretty knowledgeable. And quite frankly, if you check my playlist, I've done probably 20 scam token videos. I haven't been wrong yet. And I've learned a lot because now I've built some relationships with some developers and they know things and explain some stuff that quite frankly, I just didn't know. But now I do. And I'm going to share a lot of that with you guys. Now, right now, there's a lot of marketing going on, which brings in a lot more liquidity, right? New blood. Well, that's basically based on that they're going to launch the Baby Doge swap. Now, normally, one of the red flags is when you have like an ICO or a, a pre sale, one of the key things is you got to go to like Pancake Swap, if you look on the screen, or Uniswap, and you can't buy it uh, easily on many exchanges. Well, that's kind of what you have at Baby Doge. But that's okay. Still not saying it's a scam. Um, but no matter what you think about Baby Doge, guys, um, there are a whole lot of scams linked to it. And we're going to talk about that. Even that really have nothing to do with Baby Doge except for the name and trying to get to the people in the community. But when you go to Twitter, guys, check this out. Baby Doge coin scam at Baby Doge scam. And guys, I'm just going to tell you, I I tend to agree with pretty much everything you're going to read. But it says son of a scammer meme with scam mission, hyper deflationary with auto sell, hold to lose your money and earn less tokens. Um Useless tokens. Don't invest. Don't invest in Baby Doge. Yes, I think about it, why they created this much supply. And it talks about it, guys. And I'm going to talk about that here in a second. Just going to keep reading. People are so aggressive to kill the scammer. Well, basically, they're, they're showing who he is. Now, here's the thing, guys. Now, bear with me. And see, it says big scam alert. The developers are selling all the baby Doge coins and people are losing their money. Don't invest. And it, you know, it goes on and on and on. There's not one person that defends it. But now, let me tell you how basically a scam works. And they are going through this process for whatever that's worth. Okay, guys, here's the deal they create zillions of coins i really don't know how I, how much a quadrillion coins are and i you know i went to business school so you know i still don't know it's a ton of coins well apparently the guy on the screen if that's him i haven't verified that but the developers keep that the team keeps that well here's the deal when it launches it has so much hype because they spend a whole lot of money marketing and they've built up what Three, three million, six million people in the uh, the Doge, the Baby Doge army that bought in the pre-sale, and a lot of people just bought a hundred dollars, thousand dollars, something like that. But it adds up to millions 
and millions of dollars. Now, from what I've read, they they had these bots that blocked people from uh, getting out initially right out of the gate on the pre-sale. So it was pumping, but for some reason, they couldn't get their order filled. Happens all the time in the suspect things. Now, here's the thing, guys. They have the... The, the developer that's created this, the founder, whatever you want to call him, has so many tokens. It's unlimited. It's literally, he will never be able to sell them all because there won't be that many people to sell them to. So what happens, guys, when it launched, let's just, to make it easy, it launches at $0.10 cents and runs up to $0.50. Cents. He, he was in at 0. .0001 of a penny. So he's talking like 10,000x profit. Well. He takes, let's just say there's $5 million. Well, he can only dump $5 million, but he doesn't dump all of them because if he did, it would just go to zeros. But he can dump, you know, a $1 million worth, $2 million worth. But the hype is so much that it pulls back. He doesn't dump, and he, and he just puts the marketing in, and it goes up, 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 up a little more, and people are holding it, and he can dump more. Well, now... If you go look at the chart, it's just falling apart and it bouncing off the bottom. Now, here's the deal. He's made millions and millions of dollars, no matter what. Well, as long as he keeps his reputation alive and he keeps marketing, every time someone brings in, say, $1,000, that's $1,000 worth of tokens he can dump right out of the gate. So. He wants to keep, and it's not just him, it's any meme token type project that's not really building anything. Like say he's promising to build uh, like a metaverse and stuff in the future, but he's done nothing. And another thing, guys, that, that a developer explained to me uh, is to create like that swap, it would take a developer like a weekend because I didn't know this. But like at Binance, there's pre-packaged uh, like DeFi packages, uh, swap packages. There's prefab everything, all kinds of projects. There's uh, projects that they've already built a bridge from uh, Binance to, say, Ethereum. If you want to use that, there's the code. And to a developer, they just sit, sit, sit. Boom, up and running. And then they build like these 10, 20, 30 projects and they pump. Hey, look what's building on our program, on our on our blockchain. So it creates all this hype. And then people are like, no, the metaverse is coming out. This is coming out. They just built this swap. Guys, just to put this in context, HBAR allocated $5 billion to fund their ecosystem. To build like the swaps and the bridges and all that because they're not canned they're real projects custom projects they have last i counted or last i heard 1800 developers this is probably the only developer they got he doesn't have a need for that his marketing team is way bigger or whatever that's worth but anyway guys this is going to keep going and until the marketing runs out or the liquidity when everybody throws their hands up. But no matter what, no if and buts about it, guys, Baby Doge is not going to be around, say, in five years. There's not going to be a Baby Doge metaverse of substance that are, is going to tie into the Web 3 of the future or be of any significance. If they create a metaverse, it'll be a very generic, you know, 10 years ago technology. You can almost bet on that. I would bet on that. Uh, so anyway, guys, I'm just trying to inform you for whatever it's worth. I know I'm rambling on, but here's the deal. Just go ahead. I know if you own the token, you're probably disgusted. Hopefully you didn't put more in than you can afford to lose. Use it as a, a learning tool. Never, ever, ever get involved in projects that you don't know who the owner is, and who the team is made up of. If you go check my playlist, 
uh, and go to any of my projects that uh, I say, you know, like ICO or pre-sale alert, and it doesn't say scam, um, check them out. Every one of them have uh, a founder and a team. You can go to LinkedIn. You can go to Twitter. You can follow them. You can see their education. They've been vetted. There's a whole team. Uh, and so those are the type pre-sales you want to get involved in if you're going to. Now, that being said, guys, and bear with me, I know I'm rambling, but I really do have your best interest. Go look at HBAR. Go look at Polygon. These are massive projects, and if they take out their old high, which, in my opinion, I own both, full disclosure, they're going to, but you're already looking at, uh, you know, a 5, 10, 15, 20x with very, very legit projects. Hell, Bitcoin, if you buy it under 20,000 is what, uh, 20, 40, 60, you know, that, that's a 4 or 5x when it takes out its old high. Ethereum, um, I think, is, is probably a, a 5 to 6x. Uh, I haven't checked it lately, but I know it was trading under 1,000. Uh, and, and it's going to go test that. Trust me when I tell you, we're going into a recession, guys. But anyway, hopefully this has been informative. Don't get into these meme coins that are straight up scams. If you want a meme coin, and this is not financial advice, guys, whatsoever, but Dogecoin and uh, Shiba Inu are kind of the original ones. And quite frankly, guys, here's the deal about meme coins. If that's all it does is is uh, transactions at a low cost and has a huge supply, we got that covered with the real Doge. There's no need for baby Doge. Now, that being said, let me tell you uh, some other things I uncovered and I almost forgot. Um, there used there was another baby Doge. Apparently, there was. Little Baby Doge, there was Baby Doge 2, and that was a straight up rug pull if you go check that chart out. And here's the deal, guys. They're building websites. They go to Twitter accounts and post these things and try to link you because, guys, the people that got involved, and no offense to you guys, most of you haven't been around and invested a lot. So they know that you. Uh, are not aware of all the scams and they're everywhere. So here's the biggest deal, guys. I want you to keep moving forward with crypto. Buy you some Bitcoin. Educate yourself. I highly recommend that. If you're not in Bitcoin, and again, not financial advice, but I have a Bitcoin life changing uh, challenge on my website. It's my very first video. Go watch that video. Um, don't put in more than you can afford to lose. But the whole purpose of that is I truly believe in Bitcoin. It is the future. I think it's going to be around. And yes, it's not going to make you rich tomorrow uh, like some of these meme coins can. Like if you invested in Doge and or Shiba in 2017, that's not going to happen in Bitcoin. But it's the safest one. Cryptos, all of it's risky. But it's the safest, the least risky of the risky. That makes any sense. But you can educate yourself and learn what it is. And if you look at my challenge, what I get you to do is just fund it. Whether you start with $10 or $100, it doesn't matter. Whatever you feel comfortable with. But I want you to keep funding it over time as you go. Like with coffee money or your lunch money. Don't go into your bank account. Here's what I want you to do. I'll go ahead and tell you. But you need to watch the video. I want you to get started Bitcoin, learn about the technology, open the wallet, uh, learn how to move the money around. And, you know, let's just say you start with $100. Well, every day, every day, guys, and that's the cool thing about crypto. Let's just say you're going to go to Outback for lunch. It's going to be $28, $35. Why don't you just go to Subway? Take, take $20, buy more Bitcoin. Why don't you and your wife stay home this Friday and girl out buy a bottle of wine instead of going out to maybe the club or whatever you're going to do? You're going to take your kids somewhere, you know, really expensive on the weekend. Why don't you just go camping? Put that money into Bitcoin. Anyway, that's the thing. And guys, I promise you, the people that are stacking, 
Now, don't promise. Take that back. But I'm telling you, as a friend, I highly recommend stacking during this recession as much as you possibly can, not in the uh, meme coins, into real projects that with real uh, uh, utility like Bitcoin, HBAR, Ethereum, Polygon. Those are going to be around or should be around for a long, long time. They're changing the world. Uh, another really high, high risk reward is X, uh, XRP. That might be something you want to look at. Anyway, guys, I didn't mean to ramble on. Do your homework. Don't rely on me. This is edutainment, but it is information that you need, guys. Make sure that you never give anyone your information when you connect your wallet. Never give them your pass seed. Uh, even if it says, hey, I can get your money back, if it says customer service, make sure you are at the right place. All right, guys, that's enough rambling. I really didn't mean to ramble on, but uh, I really, you know, it kind of bothers me that they give to dog rescues because, like I said, I've rescued a lot of dogs in my life. I'm a big, big dog lover. So I hate to take away from any project that might be doing that. But, guys, this is really suspect. I'm not going to call it a straight-up scam, but he's playing the game that you can see if you've been behind the curtain like me, if you know any developers. He's just going to keep pumping this thing, keep pumping, keep telling people sexy stories, and it's going to keep, you know, going. And, every, you know, if he can if he can get a million dollars worth of new people come in and buy that token on the weekend, you're basically giving that money to him. He's just dumping those tokens. That's my that's my opinion. Anyway, guys, hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And either way, don't give up on your crypto. Keep educating yourself. We're going into a recession. We're already in a recession. It's time to educate and stack and work hard because the next, uh, you know, six months, two years, three years, five years, guys, you can make some life changing. Uh, things happen in your life you really can it, it's life changing investing right now you know it's just like when the car came out and people were on horses this is as big as electricity i mean this is absolutely the top three the only thing that literally in my opinion that can compete with bitcoin and crypto of how much it's changing the world literally is only electricity that's how massive this is. Some people would say if you add up fire, the car, uh, the boat that got us over here, electricity, the internet, if you add it all up, it still doesn't equal Bitcoin and crypto opportunity and how massively it's going to change the world. All right, guys. Sorry about the ramble. Take care. But in my opinion, if you're looking to get into um, Baby Doge, keep looking and if you own it and it pumps and you happen to be able to get your money back i highly recommend it but again not financial advice you guys take care see you